Welcome to Rocksaw Productions, where in this video we are going to take a look at the Mamba Rugged Hybrid Protective Case designed for the Nintendo Switch. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Now before we get into our video talking about the cases from Mumba today, I want to just take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, check out some of our other videos on the channel, including entire playlists dedicated to both the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Lite. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and that bell notification. That way each and every time we come out with new content, you're kept the most up to date. And what I want to know from you now, down in the comments, do you use a case on your Switch or not? Pretty simple one here today. So some time ago, I did test out the Mumba Blade case for the Nintendo Switch Lite, and I really did like it. It provided enough extra girth to the Switch Lite to make it more comfortable for me to use in handheld mode, and it actually addressed some of the concerns I had with other similar cases from other manufacturers. Well, they are at it again, and they have just sent me two new rugged hybrid protective cases for the Nintendo Switch. Why two of them? Well, we're gonna show you in just a moment. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these out of the package, we're gonna take a look at them, we're gonna test fit them, see how they feel while we play, and uh, see what we think. Let's go. So here we have both of the rugged hybrid protective cases on the bench. Let's open it up and just see how they look. Now, first and foremost, looking at the bottom here, let's give you a closer look. Perfect gripping, hybrid design, shock resistant, accurate cutout, scratch resistant. Uh, just basically can see through on the back. There's nothing else really on the box to check out. I'll set that aside. There is a thank you card in there. You're welcome. And it walks you through the installation and removal of your switch. Nothing on the back. Oh, very nice. So this is very, very similar to the one we reviewed for the Switch Lite. So you have kind of a clear backing here so you can see the back of your Switch. The grips here are kind of humped out to give you a little bit better grip when you are playing this way. Uh, you have your power button, volume rocker, and then you have your vent and cartridge slot openings right here. On the bottom, you have your charging slot. I am willing to bet you, you will not be able to use this with a standard dock, but the only thing you could really use to dock your switch with something like this would be like the Charge N Pro Stingray. So that's the black version. And I do believe this is probably the blue. What I'm seeing through the case right now, I think I'm gonna like the blue. Same thing, you have your installation instructions and removal there. So there you can see the kind of blue. And for my Switch, the fact that I have the white case on it, I think that's gonna look pretty slick. In fact, we're gonna put this one on first. You know what, instead of trying to force it in, let's just take a look at how they recommend putting this on. So you go to the bottom lip here first and then lay it down on the top. So that is how we will do it. And the material is pliable enough that it'll stretch over your switch and everything. That's nice. That is definitely better and more comfortable than stock. Just raise the volume here. I mean, it's not obstructing anything anywhere. Uh, the fitment seems pretty good. Yeah, no real issues with how this is fitting on the switch. And this does add, I've always said that I don't like playing my original Switch in handheld mode. It's just not comfortable enough for me. But this does add enough in the right spots where I could see using the stock Joy-Cons with this case more often to uh, play games. And looking at the thickness of the material here, I'm gonna tell you this is not gonna fit in a dock and it's not gonna make connection either. It just, it's not going to. And then to pop it out, corner by corner, kind of work your way around. Here we go. Oh, I didn't show you the back of it with it in there. I want to show you the back. I actually didn't even look at the back of it. That's sharp. That is actually really, really sharp. I think this looks probably pops better probably than the black back would uh, in, in this case as well. Uh, so let's pop this guy back out again. 
Now, there is no opening or cutout in here for the kickstand. So keep in mind, if you are using this as a protector to take with you and then you wanna use in tabletop mode, not gonna work. And then here's how it will look in the clear one. Again, super easy to install. It has the same ergonomics and everything as the blue one. And then that's how it looks on the back through there. Um, it's definitely more comfortable than the original one. I do actually wish that these were a little bit more pronounced. Um, I, I like a larger grip on there. Additionally, one thing that's neat as well is if you notice the top of the Joy-Con, there's a gap between that and the top of the case. So the uh, ZL and ZR triggers are not resting right on top of the case. That's nice. Uh, volume buttons work as they should. And I've got all my ports and everything that I need. Like I say, the main thing that's a little bit of a bummer is the fact there is no accommodation for that kickstand there. One thing that is a bummer, like I mentioned, is the fact that I do wish that there was an opening here for the um, for the kickstand. And again, oh, nope, I don't want Fortnite. I do wish that the grips were, were a little bit more pronounced. Uh, but overall, definitely an improvement over like just a, a slim silicone case or, or any of the other cases, quite honestly, that I've used for the Switch to this point. Let's wrap it up. So there you have our look at the rugged protective hybrid case from Mumba designed for the Nintendo Switch. What do I think about it? Well, I will tell you, I love the Blade Series case for the Switch Lite, and I was hoping for more of the same from this. And for the most part, it does it. The one place that I wish that this kind of was more like the Blade for the Switch Lite is I wish the grip humps were a little bit more pronounced personal preference is all that that is. For those of you who want something that's going to be very resilient to protect the edges of your switch from bumps and tumbles, this does a really nice job and it is also compatible with their hybrid uh, hard case that they have as well that we've also featured here on the channel. I'll have a link to it right up there for you. Um, fits in there perfectly. It is easier to put on than take off but it's not overly difficult to take off. I never felt like I was gonna break my switch when putting it in or out of it. Works great. Um, I thought that the button cutouts and everything in the case worked exactly as they should. They will free up, they're a little bit firm to start with, but they will free up the more that you go to use it. It's a rubber type material, as you break it in, that's gonna happen. Um, I love the blue. The blue for me is where it is at. And I mean, the clear is okay, but this is awesome. I really do like the way that my Switch looks in the blue case here. Now, if you are looking to pick one of these guys up, you can do so. Uh, I will have a pin post down below with links to our Amazon storefront where you can go ahead and do just that. Now, Unfortunately, there's no discount or anything like that set up with that, but if you go ahead and use that link, it does actually help support the channel. Now, if you do have any questions about the Mumba Grip case, like what we have here, about anything about the Switch, retro and modern gaming, basically whatever you have, Again, leave a comment down below. You can also go ahead and send me an email at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios, Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions, and we are on Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductions. GK. Now, if you do want to help support the future of Rock Solid Productions, get early access to future videos and a whole lot more, you can do that in a couple of different ways. First and foremost, head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rock solid for as little as a dollar a month, 12 bucks a year. Gets you early access to all of our content, exclusive content, and more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube starting as low as $1.99 a month. Gets you all those same benefits and features, but you do it here on YouTube versus Patreon. And finally, you can head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now, where we have different t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more, all featuring the Rock Solid Productions logo on a different retro style cartridge. And you know, now that I think about it, I really need to do a shirt with the Switch cartridge design on it, don't I? I'll get to that shortly after we pass 10,000 subscribers. We are so close at the time of this filming. Thank you all for all your support. It really is appreciated. And if you want to help us get to that milestone and beyond, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. That way each and every time we do upload new content, 
you are kept the most up to date. Uh, this is a really good way to play your Switch in handheld mode uh, using the stock Joy-Cons and everything. My biggest gripe, I do wish the grips were a little bit bigger here, but I also realize that I'm probably in the minority on that and this will be good for most people. Uh, well put together, well molded, well designed. I love the blue. Uh, and I do want to thank Mumba for sending us both of these to check out. Uh, I am Gary, this has been Rocksaw Productions, and our look at the Mumba Rugged Hybrid Protective Case designed for the original Nintendo Switch. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.